Vision Press Production is dedicated to informing the public of events and meetings of local government and other interesting thought and commentaries protected by the United States Constitution. The right to say how it happened. On May 4, 2023, the Colport Borough Tax Officer received a letter, a personal letter. You most likely have received letters from friends and family. When the letter arrives at your mailbox, you must make a decision. Should I throw it away, out of curiosity, should I open the letter? You have a valued decision. Is the person sending the letter trustworthy, the thought one may have in the back of his or her mind? Seeing the personal letter had the return address was from Carol Fox, 2469, Harmony Road Westover, Pennsylvania, 16692, the tax officer opened the letter. Vision Press Production acquired a copy of the letter and will be showing you Ms. Carol Fox's personal letter in a few minutes. Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr., the Colport Borough Tax Officer, wants to tell a short true story. As an official certified tax officer for Colport Borough, Clearfield County, and Glendale School District, the responsibility of the tax officer is to collect tax amounts of money in a month and at the end of the month create reports, write a check, and respectfully submit the check and reports to the taxing authorities. The true story I am telling is in regard to a check written in 2022 and served to the Honorable County Treasurer Ms. Carol Fox. For a month in 2022, I sent a report and a check to Ms. Fox, thinking I had done my duty. A few days later, Ms. Fox sent a letter stating, Reverend Spade you owe the county 8 cents. I wanted to be honest and in compliance, so I sent a letter with a dime tape to the bottom of the letter as you can see. A week later another letter was received from Ms. Fox. At the bottom of her letter was two cents taped to the letter. I thought the dime was the eight cents and two cents interest for the check sent to county in error was a good gesture of kindness. My thoughts were, Ms. Carol Fox, county treasurer is full of integrity, honesty, trustworthiness, and all the kind words I could think of in the matter of two cents returned. Vision Press Production thought you should hear the true story of interaction between the county treasurer and the Colport Borough Tax Officer. The tax officer shared the contents of Ms. Fox's letter because of her honesty and integrity. Ms. Fox wrote, in her personal letter the following. Hi. I am writing to you as a fellow elected official of Clearfield County. By now you have probably heard of my upcoming retirement. After 28 years of service to Clearfield County, I am not seeking re-election. I want to turn over the office of county treasurer to a person who can leave politics at the door, show up for work continue with the daily responsibilities of the office. There are only three candidates running for this position in the May primary. Of those three, I am personally backing Nicole Fletcher as the most qualified candidate. In closed please read her announcement from local media print and also a few cards. I am asking for your vote for Nicole. Please pass the word to family, friends, and neighbors to go vote May 16th for Nicole. Thank you. Carol Fox Vision Press Production does not endorse any candidate to be fair to all candidate. However, Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr. said, Since Carol Fox was honest enough to return two cents, her opinion is trustworthy and I can prove Carol would not lead you to the wrong path. You don't need to guess, vote for Nicole because Ms. Carol Fox gave her two cents trustworthy opinion. Respectfully, Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr.